welcome to On Track TV. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to change your workspaces in Illustrator CS6. So I'm going to show you how to create new workspaces, delete the old ones, and move around the ones to create something that is convenient for you. So here we are looking at the Illustrator interface, and we've gone over all the different parts of it, but what I want to show you is that they're all um, movable and you're able to create a workspace that works for you. So with our toolbar over here you can drag it and you can drop it wherever you want to. Okay, and You can make it smaller or bigger, it's up to you and when you want to bring it back you just drag it back to the corner and this little blue line shows up in your release and it gets clicked back onto the side where it belongs. All right. Similarly with the panels you can do the same thing, bringing out each panel one at a time, clicking on them, making them either bigger, larger, moving them around. Maybe if you're working over here on your document you want to bring your swatches panel a little bit closer so it's easier to work with, whatever the reason may be, but you can move everything around. All right? And up here in the tab where it says essentials you drop it down and these are sort of the workspaces that Illustrator has already created and put in for you and so when you click on them they change around the panels and the tools in different order so that was the layout if I click on painting it will change again and give me new options all designed around painting similarly if I click on automation then it's going to change all to my automation panels and my automation tools are in order Let's say I'm in my automation um, workspace and I start moving stuff around again and I grab this panel and this panel and I bring out this toolbar and I decide that I want to bring an automation panel back to how it was. Well, I can go back up to this drop down and I can click on reset automation and it sets everything back to how it was. So that's a really helpful tip for you to know. Another thing for you to know is how to create your own workspaces. So let's click on Essentials, which is sort of the default one, and I have saved it into this weird spot. So if I click on this and I click Reset Essentials, it's going to set it back to the regular Essentials workspace. And this is sort of the default workspace that you use when you're working on Illustrator. Now let me show you how to create your own workspaces. So we're in the Essentials one, and let's say I like my workspace to look something like this. Okay. And I like to bring this little close and I like to work in my document there. This is how I like my workspace to look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to click manage workspaces. And I'm going to add in a new one by clicking on this button. And I'm going to name it to Georgia. And I'm going to click OK. And this is now saved as the Georgia workspace. Now if I go here and I click on the Georgia workspace, it will show up just like this. Now if I move this around, whatever, change it, I go back to my drop down, I click reset Georgia it sets it back to my Georgia workspace. Let's say I want to delete the workspace. I go back to manage, my Georgia workspace shows up, I highlight it and I click delete, I click yes and I click OK. And now I go to my essentials one and I reset it and everything's back to normal. So that is how you move around your workspaces to create one. That is how you save one, delete one, manage all your different ones that you have. This is a really helpful tool to know because when you are editing your documents, there's a lot of different tools that you're going to be using and you want things to be accessible and easy and convenient to find. So creating a workspace that works the best for you and saving it to your list is super, super helpful. Thank you so much for tuning into this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.